Today I've got a one pan chicken and rice recipe that is the perfect weeknight meal and it ticks all of the boxes for easy, healthy, and delicious. The chicken thighs are marinated in the sun-drenched flavors of the Mediterranean, including lemon, garlic, oregano, and thyme. And the marinade then does double duty to help brighten up the rice, along with a few additional ingredients like onions and spinach. I love skillet dinners because they are quick and easy to put together and quick and easy to clean up. And this cozy family meal is also budget friendly with a combination of pantry staples and fresh ingredients. So let me show you how to make it. The first thing we'll make is the marinade and it's a slight variation of my popular Greek salad dressing. But we're swapping the red wine vinegar for more lemon juice. So give two lemons a good wash, then zest and juice them. You always want to zest before juicing because if you try to do it the other way around, it's not very easy. And once you have the zest and juice from those lemons, just add them to a small mixing bowl. To that, you'll add two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, three minced garlic cloves, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of dried thyme, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and one tablespoon of olive oil. Then give that a stir so it's all mixed up and emulsified. You guys know I have a thing for chicken thighs as the meat is always so juicy and tender and you can get such flavorful, crispy skin. So add five chicken thighs to a bowl and then pour your marinade on top. You wanna make sure that the chicken is well coated, so dig in with your hands and toss it around, then marinate the chicken in the fridge for at least 30 minutes, but the longer the better. While the chicken is marinating, you can prep your other ingredients and that includes dicing one medium onion. Normally I use a yellow onion, but if you saw my Instagram stories a week ago when I was filming this recipe, the supermarket was surprisingly all out of yellow onions, so I'm using a sweet white onion, but either works just fine. My onion is also a bit on the larger side today, so my rice will be extra oniony, but that's okay because I do love onion. And you can dice it as chunky or as fine as you'd like. Once that's done, transfer it to a bowl. Because this is a one pan meal, I really wanted to sneak in some more greens so it wasn't just chicken and rice, and it's always easy to do that with spinach. In fact, you've seen me do this before on my stuffed peppers recipe, and here you'll just take two cups of spinach and give it a rough chop. Then when it wilts down while cooking, no one will even know there's spinach in the recipe. Another ingredient that we'll add to the rice here in a bit is more garlic, so I'll get those ready now by just giving them a good smash and removing the outer skin. Then they'll be quick and easy to mince. And with those three items prepped, I'll move them over to the stove. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then add a couple tablespoons of olive oil or avocado oil to an oven safe pan on medium high heat. This stove cast iron pan is one of my favorites, but whatever you use, just give it a swish around to make sure that the bottom is fully coated. Once the pan has come to temperature, add the chicken thighs skin side down, and you may get a little bit of splatter when the first couple of pieces hit the pan, so just watch out for that. And don't throw away the marinade after you've added the chicken to the pan, as we'll add it back to the rice here shortly. Cook the chicken thighs for about five minutes or until the skin has turned beautifully golden. Then give them a flip and cook them on the other side for another five minutes. And once that's done, remove them to a plate. Now we wanna soak up some of that fat and grease from the pan, but not all of it, as we'll use it to saute the onions and it's loaded with flavor. So the easiest thing to do is to bunch up a couple of paper towels and use your tongs to soak up just a bit, leaving enough to lightly coat the bottom. Add the diced onion to the pan and stir for one to two minutes or until the onion starts to become translucent. You'll also notice that as the onion releases moisture, the darkened bits from the bottom of the pan will release and mix with the onion, and that's what you want. To the onions, you'll add the chopped spinach, three minced garlic cloves, and a bit more seasoning for the rice. That includes one teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and the leftover marinade that's full of lemony goodness. Give that a stir for about a minute or until the spinach just starts to wilt down, 
Then add one cup of rice and stir again to make sure that the rice is nicely coated in oil and flavor. Add two cups of chicken broth, give it one last stir and bring this to a simmer. Once it's simmering, add the chicken thighs back to the pan and you can just space them out on top. Then once that's done, add a lid and transfer the pan to the oven. You'll cook the chicken and rice for about 35 minutes with the lid on, then remove the lid and cook for another 10 minutes. This allows any extra moisture to evaporate from the rice. And you can always test if your rice is done by fluffing it up with a fork. The rice will look really dark when you first remove it from the oven, and that's because the spinach and onions rise to the surface when cooking. But as soon as you fluff it up with a fork, you'll see the golden colored rice underneath. And you'll smell this amazing aroma of lemon and oregano and garlic, which is just divine. Before serving, you can garnish with lemon zest or grilled lemon slices and a sprinkle of chopped parsley for a pop of bright green. This one pan chicken and rice recipe is incredibly flavorful and if you're a family of four, you might have to arm wrestle to decide who gets that last fifth piece. I'm fortunate that I get to enjoy this entire pan all by myself. I just put the leftovers in storage containers and enjoyed it all week long. If you'd like to see more one pan recipes, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, and I'll see you again next week with a tasty new recipe.